I started with 8 lands, so we should be at 98 because 45 times 2 is 90. Oh, there it is. There it is, boys. All right, 100% guaranteed. There we go. Hey, guys. In this video, I'm going to go over my 100% guaranteed steel build. Let's get into what you'll need. You'll want Thief to at least be level 10 for Magpie, which allows us to steal rare items. If you have it at level 12, we get Rob Line, which lets us steal two items instead of one. Beastmaster at level 8 for Spearhead. This lets us act first in battle so we could get the goods and hightail it out of there. Like any good thief, we'll be striking at night. Gambler at level 8 for Night Shift. This increases chances of triggering extra effects at night. Black Mage at level 5 gives us Lunar Power. This increases our luck stat at night. If you take a look at the attribute page, luck is not listed here. It's a hidden stat. But over 100 plus hours of gameplay and testing, I'm confident to say luck increases your chances of abilities having their effects triggered. You'll want a main gambler for their second specialty, Born Lucky. This will increase chances of triggering effects. You'll want Freelancer as your sub job. At level 6, you get Lucky Charm, which increases your luck. Now that we have our passive set, let's optimize our equipment. You'll want to have a spear to activate Spearhead. Stab and grab dagger that comes with the mug ability on it. If you don't have this dagger, head over to Bernard's mansion and come to this room. It'll be found in one of these two chests. Our head and body piece doesn't matter. For our accessories, you'll want the Thief's Glove, which can be found from the Rin doll shop. This increases our chance of stealing by 15% and they stack. Okay, now that we have everything we need, when we go into battle, you'll want to use Lucky Charm on yourself, then go to Items, and go over to the Stab and Grab Dagger, and use Mug three times. You should get the rare and common item. Have the next party member run from battle, and we just did our first successful burglary. If you want multiple copies for your allies, I suggest moving back three steps, saving, then going to the title menu. Reload the save file and the enemy should have respawned. Now that your actions have been saved, press the Y button and it'll do it even quicker for an even more efficient farm. For those wondering why we're not using Indiscriminate Rage and Mug, it's because this isn't a guaranteed steal using that method. I have an upcoming video that'll use it when it's more efficient. If you got value from this video, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing. Until the next video, I'll see ya.